Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I am super excited to dive into a topic which is close to our hearts, and that is time management. As someone who is also navigating through this exciting life, I understand how important it is for us to basically be able to organize and manage our day and make sure we are optimizing our time to the fullest. So today I'm going to be sharing you some practical time management tips which will hopefully help you with managing your day. So let's get started with the video. So first things first, let's get those priorities straight. So picture this, you've got a handful of tasks, commitments and goals swirling in your head. It's almost like a mental jigsaw puzzle, if you actually think about it. So defining your priorities is like giving those puzzles a structure, making it a lot more easier to solve. So all you need to do is to identify what matters most to you so that you can allocate your time and energy to the important things and to what matters most to you, to your goals, to your values and your aspirations. So how to do it? First things first is to find a quiet spot. Grab a notebook and pen or if you want to go digital, go digital and just dive into a self-reflection. Think about your short-term and long-term goals. What do you want to achieve in the coming days, weeks, months or even years and just write them down now once you have listed your goals now we're going to start categorizing them are they related to your studies career personal growth relationships or hobbies this step helps you see the bigger picture and organize your priorities by different areas of your life now we are going to rank your goals within each category based on their importance to you. Consider what will have the most positive impact on your life, what's time sensitive and what brings you the most joy and fulfillment. Be mindful of the number of priorities that you set. While it is great to have so many goals, focusing on a few ones at a time prevents you from feeling overwhelmed and ensures that you are giving your best to each goal that you want to achieve. So now the second tip is to plan your day ahead. Think of planning your day as a roadmap to success. Just like you wouldn't set a road trip without a map, you shouldn't dive into your day without a plan. Planning ahead helps you to stay organized reduce stress and ensures that you are making the most of your time. So how to do it? Dedicate a specific time each day. It could be in the morning or the night before to plan out your day. Treat it as an essential appointment with yourself. Identify the most important tasks for the day. These are the ones that contribute significantly to your goals or have deadlines. Break your day into time blocks, each dedicated to a specific task or activity. Assign blocks for studying, work, exercise, meals and downtime. Be realistic about how much time each task will take. Schedule short breaks between tasks to recharge. This will help to boost your productivity. Tip three is the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique is like interval training for your brain. It taps into the brain's natural ability to focus for a specific period and then recharge. This is a game changer for tackling tasks and maintaining mental sharpness. So how to do it? First, choose a task you want to work on and set a timer for 25 minutes. This is your Pomodoro, which is actually named after the Italian tomato-shaped kitchen timer that the Techniques creator used. So from there, you are going to dive into the task with full concentration. This is your sprint 
no distraction, no multitasking. Once the timer rings, take a five minutes break. You can stretch, grab a snack, go outside, just do something that is not related to the task that you're doing. You are literally just going to relax for five minutes. So this is kind of like your recharge time. After four Pomodoros, take a longer break, maybe around 15 to 30 minutes. Use this time to recharge, reflect, or even reward yourself. Tip four is digital detox breaks. In a world where notifications are constantly vying for our attention, digital detox breaks provide a much needed breather. They give us a chance to disconnect from the virtual noise and tune into the present moment and foster a much more healthier relationship with technology. So how to do it? Designate Pacific time frame for digital detox breaks throughout the day. It could be during your study sessions, meals, or moments when you're spending time with your friends and family. Designate a physical space where your phone rests during these breaks. It could be a small tray or a different room, somewhere that is out of sight, out of mind. Engage in an activity that doesn't involve screens. It could be taking a walk, practicing mindfulness, reading a physical book, which I am actually doing currently at the moment, or engaging in a hobby that you love. Tip number five, learn to say no. Saying no isn't about being negative. It's about setting healthier boundaries and safeguarding your well-being. By saying no when necessary, you're protecting your time, energy, and mental health. So how to do it? Before committing to any new task or engagement, align it with your goals or values. If it doesn't contribute to your personal growth or align with your values or aspirations, it might be time to say no and decline. Tune into your feelings and instincts. If you feel overwhelmed, stressed or anxious at the thought of taking a new commitment, communicate your inability to take on this new commitment and say no. You don't need to justify your decision extensively. A simple and sincere decline is enough. Tip number six, embrace the two minute rule. We all encounter small tasks that seem too insignificant to bother with. However, these tasks collectively create mental weight and distract us from more significant projects. The two minute rule prevents these small tasks from becoming bigger issues. So how to do it? Scan your to-do list or current tasks and identify tasks that can be completed in under two minutes or two minutes. These could include replying to a short email, making a quick call, or just tidying up your workplace. Instead of postponing these tasks, make it a rule to tackle them immediately if they fall within the two minutes time frame. This prevents them from piling up and becoming overwhelming. As you check off these quick tasks, you're also clearing mental clutter. Your mind is free from constantly reminding you to handle these minor responsibilities. Accomplishing quick wins through the two minute rule boosts your motivation and energy. It sets a positive tone for your productivity and encourages you to tackle more substantial tasks. And there you have it. Time management isn't about stress. It's about reclaiming control over your life. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more empowering content. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in another video. So bye guys, bye.